Hey everyone and welcome back. Well, in the previous video, we took a look at three of the unreleased vehicles, the Karate Tally RSX, the Mammoth Squaddy and the Rapid Slam Chuck. So in this video, we'll be taking a look at the Karate Briozo 300, which is a compact car being added into GTA Online. Now this car is based off of the Fiat 500 Classic from real life and just from the initial looks of it itself, it's completely clear that every aspect of it is resembling to the real life one. I mean, here's a comparison picture. You can also make out that they have actually added the roof convertible option too, you know, open roof stuffs and also coming to the rear aspect. The entire rear design is completely just like the real life one guys, even the bumpers and all those stuffs. So really a good job. Going to the interiors, well, these are just like the old school ones. And if you guys remember the tow truck which we just did earlier, you can clearly make out that the steering wheel, the dashboard and everything are literally the same thing. Like Rockstar literally copy pasted these two vehicles interior. That is a drawback for this vehicle as this tiny thing costs like $610,000. 600 grand for this thing. I'm not kidding, you know, you get like a decent sports car for this range. Nonetheless, moving on to the customization aspects, we have the primary paint. And one of the best features is that this car has dual paint options. So the primary paint changes the bottom section and the secondary paint changes the top section. So for this build, I think I'll be going with the yellow one. The race yellow looks good. Even the red and blue, I mean, literally every color looks good on this. But I'll be choosing the race yellow for this one. The top, well, we could go with the dual tone one, like the black, but it actually makes it look like a goddamn taxi. So instead, I'll be going with the primary paint for the top as well. Moving to the customizations, the first thing we have is the hood options. And uh, the hood is actually on the back side, guys. You know, this is a rear engine vehicle, so, you know, it's actually in the back. So there's like four options here. The first, the luggage rack, the luggages, the opened hood, that is the popped hood and also there's the racing hood so if you guys have actually seen the fiat 500 you know some of the custom or the racing versions and all you can make out that these are just like the real life ones the especially the popped hood you know you can literally see many of the vehicles with this sort of a fitment so rockstar has gone to the next level and made like so much similarities to the real life one really good job by rockstar on this particular car next we have the front bumper and we have got few options we can remove them we have the basic ones and all those stuffs you know the usual stuffs and also there's the rally bumpers as well so you get like you know completely clean one or you get it with the uh, rally lights but the bumper is missing in that so there's the rally di polito in which we have the bumper as well as the rally lights but but the annoying thing is that we also get that green plate in the front it would have been so much better without that thing but that is what we're getting so i think i'll go with this one itself for this build you know we'll go with that Next we have the rear bumpers and uh, we have got lesser options than the front here and actually the stock one is the exact replica of the real life one guys. You can clearly make it out from this picture here. Then we also have the bodywork in which we can actually remove the reflectors and the trim option and also the option to remove everything. So these you know just remove the chrome accents on the car. But I personally like the reflector on the car so so i think i'll just stick to the stock one i like that uh, you know reflector on the side next we have the exhaust options the stock one is kind of weak in my opinion those tiny exhaust there's the twin exhaust there's also the twin chrome exhaust we also have the rally one blast pipes okay but i think i'll go with the twin chrome exhaust these look good in my opinion up next we have the engine block we have the six cylinder upgrade okay hold on a minute let me just open up the hood so for the engine blocks, we have the six cylinder upgrade and holy smokes, look at that thing. Look at what a change that engine, you know, does to the rear section of the car. Oh my God, that looks so good. So yes, I'll be going with that. I don't want the puny looking engine. And then moving to the hood options, there's the secondary trunk and also the carbon trunk. So if you guys get the dual tone option, you know, like I did earlier, you can actually get a secondary hood kind of matching to that. Or you can even go with the black one too it's totally up to you up next we have the sun stripes i personally think that you know kind of obstructs the player's visibility in first person mode so i don't want to get that next we have the wheel arches we have the plastic version or we have the carbon version if you're going to be doing the rally ones these are going to look good but for the classic build i don't think we'll be going with that 
next going to the roof we have got the painted roof the top down roof i mean it's pretty cool that we have this option of open top it kind of looks cool and then there's some of the usual ones and also there's the carbon roof with the open top option then we have the roof racks and the luggages and all those stuff and finally we have the full top down option so this is like a completely open on the top and back side guys this is gonna look so crazy actually so yeah you have all of these customization options for the grotty briozo 300 guys pretty cool if i have to say i'll be choosing the top down one and the performance upgrades definitely gonna get all of these right away and then we also have the library options like we have got you know few of them the usual stripes and we also got the grotty stripes this actually looks good and we have got some of the racing ones the the arrow gasoline kind of looks like the taxi one so if you guys are going to be doing any of those taxi builds then you can get that library but i'll be going with the grotty stripes for this next we have the wheels well Talking about the wheels, you know, we can just go on and on. There's like a lot of options here. So I'll probably be going to the one that actually looks somewhat close to the real life one. Uh, the Fairly kind of looks good. I think I'll be going with this one. Yeah, this looks much better when compared to all the others. There's few other options in the street category too, like the concave steely or the poverty spec steely. But I think I'll be going with this one. Yeah, this looks so much better than those. And also these are chrome wheels, so, so these definitely look much better than that. And there we go, a fully customized and upgraded Briozo 300 guys. Acceleration has quite improved, you know, compared to the stock one, so we gotta check out the top speed on the airstrip. So let's head over to the airstrip and uh, here we are. Let's go. The acceleration is, uh, you know, kind of sluggish but this is a compact car so no comments the speed has crossed 75 miles per hour 81 miles per hour and uh, 83 miles per hour looks like that's pretty much it yep so guys 83 miles per hour is the top speed i mean let's be honest you know Everybody knows that upfront that you guys won't be buying this for racing around on the map. You guys will be buying this to have fun, you know, to drive it on the roads next to the beach, to take it to car meets and have some fun, take pictures. That is the purpose of this vehicle, definitely not the performance or handling parts of this because they actually suck. For the price point too, you know, almost $600,000. So yeah, I'll leave it to you guys to decide, you know. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about this down in the comments. What do you guys think about it? What do you think about the pricing of these new DLC vehicles? Let me know down in the comments. And yeah, make sure to stay tuned guys as up next we'll be taking a look at the crazy a ton of customization filled vehicle that is the BF Weevil that is the Volkswagen Beetle. So make sure to stay tuned, do drop the video like and also subscribe if you're new to the channel guys. Thank you all and have a good day.